Hello, everyone here. This is Ethan Lee from Think Academy. Today is our third day, and there are only eight days from the Nemo's Round One test. Today we are going to talk about complex fractions. A complex fraction means that in the structure of a fraction, there is another formula or even another fraction on its either numerator or denominator. To solve this kind of problem, first of all, we should know how to calculate the value of a fraction. For example, we can see this one from the 2021 Nemo's paper, question 23 or three point. The fraction here is a typical complex fractions. But for every fraction, its value is calculated at maybe. A simple one, four, three fourth, right? Yeah, its value can be calculated by three divided by four, which we all know. This rule works also well on a complex fraction. That in any situation, a fraction here has a value of a divided by b. In other word, numerator divided by the denominator. So is this rules? Let's see this one through. Yeah, we have the numerator of eleven and denominator of a formula here. So maybe we can just calculate the formula on the denominator, then use it to divide eleven. That will be the value of this complex fraction, right? So let's work it out. The numerator. Eleven. The denominator, however, we need to calculate one eighth, one fifteenth, one twenty fourth, and one thirty fifth. To calculate this, we need to find the LCM of its denominators. Eight. Yeah, the first three here, yeah, has a LCM of one hundred twenty. Ah,、uh, the later thirty-five、uh, is more difficult, but but that's not important. We can get first of all, we can calculate the initial three. So this is fifteen, eight, and five, right? So here will be twenty-eight. And、then here, see, we can all divide by four, which be like. Yeah, then we find the LCM of this two, which will be more easier to be. So forty nine here, six here. Which makes fifty-five two hundred tens. Then two here, ah,、uh, five here. Sorry, and it will be eleven forty-seven. Now we have the numerator and denominator. The value of the fraction will be. Numerator divided by denominator, which equals to product. In case for the view, right. So this is the basic value of fra complex fractions value calculating. There is an order. On the other hand, if we have multiple. Fraction line here. We can begin with the shorter one. Now, in that case, yeah, we calculate the shorter one, and when we have the value, then we put it in the longer one. So the basic question is simple. We need just to know 
how to calculate it, the rule to calculate it. Just remember, a value of fraction equals to the numerator divided by the denominator, and that's all. But sometimes things will be much more difficult. Like last year, also question twenty three. It has three points question. This question defines a new method of calculation that、uh, maybe we we name it as、uh, maybe mod x or、uh, mod x. Okay, the mod x equals to this fraction, and we will calculate such a terrible formula here, right? So this question. Um, I'm, I'm maybe not going to solve it immediately, but I want to tell you a important formula in the complex fraction calculations. Yeah, this this formula have many different cases and have many different maybe close to where in different questions, but the core is the same. There there are two fraction here. One of them is one. The denominator is one plus a, and it's pair one plus no one eighth. So when we calculate the sum of these two fractions, where a should not be zero, right? A should not be zero, but a can be any other non-zero numbers. It's interesting. For、uh, the first fraction, we remain the same. The second fraction, I、uh, let's product、uh, last time the numerator and denominator by a. We can have a change to this formation, and since they have the same denominators, the sum is one. This is a very important formula for any non-zero number a. This formula always work. So this question also ask us about this formula. If you know it, it will be simple. But if you don't know it, it will be difficult. But maybe not that difficult. You can still work out by maybe find the patterns. Okay. So the formula we need to calculate here the m. It's formed by two part. The first part, everything in the mode is a fraction, and the second part, everything in mode is an integer. So maybe we should put them pair to pair. So each fraction and integer, we can put them together. Let's. It is maybe a good way to find the pattern, right? So then there are two ways. Now, first of all, you can calculate one or two of these pairs. Yeah, just to calculate it, maybe bring this one and this one to the mod x and calculate the value and put the sum, right? So this is what we can do if we don't know the formula here. Place the formula here, since it will be easier. For we can see the mod x here can be written as one minus this fraction, right? So if we put here, it can be written as this fraction. And mod twenty twenty two will be written as this. Yeah, for other things, it's the same thing, right? Okay. Till the end. And for the last one here, 
so I am from Italy. So let's look at the formal part. We can put all the ones together, which will becomes two times two thousand twenty one, and minus. Right. Then additional. Yeah. So look at this structure. Here, here, and here. It's all the same for the structure for the formula we just introduced earlier, right? So each of them has a sum of one. So together there will be how many? Yeah, two thousand and twenty-one ones. So. Final value will be two thousand twenty one plus the letter one to one second, right? So it will be like this. Okay, the question asks us for two m, so it will equals to four thousand forty three. So this is a very difficult question, you know. If you don't. First of all, you should know the important formula of complex fraction calculating, and second, you maybe need to change the form yeah, of this mod x and to get it more familiar with what you know. So that's all for today. Yeah, see you tomorrow.